Welcome back, Wolfpack Verlus here. It's been a while since I've done some battles, so let's go and start up the challenge. So what I did was I took the same team as last time, except I removed Driftblim. Now, the reason why I did this is because I don't want the temptation spoiling this video. I want to use Barbarical, but it's just too easy when I go, but Driftblim's a free win against this opponent's team. So, uh, let's not do that. And I also want to try free battle spot, just so it's like, yo, this is Barbarical beating up on legendary Pokemon all day long. Let's do it. So, Barbarical leads off pretty strong, then we'll go into Metachamp, and yeah, we could either go Aegislash or Snorlax, and it really depends if I want to be here all day or not, so let's go and bring up the Snorlax, and I will admit, kind of rushing this video out today, that uh, I was caught off guard rather substantially, because I was expecting Korokoro leaks to be yesterday well slash today slash early this morning whenever because it's like the leaks have like a 60 percent chance of happening on tonight or yesterday or whatever the video is the 11th at like three in the morning on the 11th in pacific time that's when i expect my leaks and it didn't happen so i was like oh man that means i have to make a video today let's go um this is perfect i have a focus sash on my barbarical right Ah, oh, crap. This is going to be one of those things where I embarrass myself because I don't have the right item. I've been mixing it up. Wow, okay, so, um, doesn't want to eat the rocks. Never mind, that's perfect. I've been mixing it up because I've been switching between, like, a bulkier set with a Lumberry or a more offensive set, but without a Lumberry, since then I can run the Focus Sash. And either way, I always get screwed over by no matter which one I'm running. But let's go and see where this one goes. And... Yeah, so that's set up. That's an earthquake. Let's let's just win now. I, I yeah, that switch totally screwed him over. So can barbarical sweep? Yes, it can. Also, I'm gonna try to just uh, make this bottom screen just a little smaller. I don't know what you guys want. I don't have the face cam on right now. Um, I'm going to think about bringing that back, but I'm still waiting to get my hair just perfect. That I I got a haircut not too long ago, and you guys might have noticed it. Also, I didn't shave this morning. And I had like that creepy mustache going on, so wait, I'm just gonna let this one play out. But overall, I like uh, I want to dye my hair again, get it red, and after that, if I don't hit my mic with my elbow while I'm trying to just go and preen a bit, even though there's no camera, you know, just brush my hair up. I'll, I'll uh, make it look good. But yeah, that's why I run the earthquake on the barbarical now. I was running night slash for a while, that went to the earthquake, and now it's just kind of one of those things that the opponent forfeits. I think that is a great way to start this battle and today off. Cool. Um, that's, that's it. This battle, now, now this day is going to be a lot of me just talking and rambling about nonsense while saying, ah, oh, yeah, that's a thing. Um, what was I going to talk about? There we go. And on to some more battles. So let's see how this one goes. I wanted to, there were a couple things I wanted to talk about today. Um, that's what these videos do. They're like pseudo vlog life story things. You know, it's either story time, house updates, everything's going pretty good. I, I live a boring life. Um, I bought a TV, I, I bought a Nintendo 64, so expect that content. I was actually going to do like an unboxing maybe, or at least a setup demo, or video or something, so that's kind of it. Um, this is normally the time where I plug G Fuel, so go and use code VERLIS5 for 10% off your G Fuel order. I'm going to use this team, because it sounds like it's going to work out pretty well, and I think that's it. So mostly, I also want, there was like one big thing I wanted to talk about, after that, everything else I talk about is fair game. And that is the stupidity in the comments section of my videos. I'm not trying to like turn this into a drama video or whatever. But what I'm saying is, the the one comment that has upset me the most. I don't mean like gotten me upset, but like, I don't, I don't want to say pissed me off either because it hasn't made me that upset. The, the comment that has annoyed me are the ones that say, I wish um, he would go back to doing his regular content and stop with these quote unquote drama videos. First off, I don't consider it drama if it's a video necessary to make. Like, Duncan and Scrafty objectively started the drama by making their video about me when I didn't do anything to them. And even if they're just defending their friend, you know, I didn't tag Jethro Tex either. So I don't get it. But either way, you can say whatever you want. But the one comment that is objectively wrong and stupid are the ones that are saying, I wish you would go back to the negative, uh, the normal content. I don't understand how people can actually make that comment. If they have a brain cell in their head because if you think about it all those days where I did the Duncan videos and even the Jethro video I did like two other videos that day there was always a guide there was always a battle and I did fan Fridays I did news I think I even weaved in a theory or a top 10 maybe 
Like that whole week was loaded with videos. That means you could have skipped over the drama videos. Quote unquote drama. I'm not admitting their drama or anything. But you could have skipped over those videos and you would have missed out on nothing. Also, this battle is already getting intense. Because I'm stuck with a choice specs now. And he has a Lumberry. And I guess I'm screwed. Why would he do that to me? Crap, I... I don't even know, man. I'm just going to stay on this Pokemon until he gets KO. Because I don't want to switch in. I want to give free damage on my Metacham. I don't want to give free damage on my Togekiss. Because Togekiss can come in and deal with this Starmie. Unless it has Minimize. Good. Okay, so yeah, I just give up. See, I don't want Togekiss switching into the Thunderbolt. That, that's not pretty for anyone. Hmm. So apparently Lumberry doesn't even matter. Focus Dash doesn't even matter in that scenario. Either way, Togekiss comes in. But yeah, the, the reason why I don't understand is that, like, my normal content never stopped. I, I also have 2,600 videos, and I did, like, maybe three video No, four, because I, I had to prove their lies, like, three times. Either way, I, I did those videos in a pretty realistic way, and then, like, so, and then people are saying that it's drama. I don't understand how they could say that, because it just doesn't make any sense if I did regular content. That you could have missed out on vi those videos, like, the... Uh, drama videos and you would have lost zero from the normal content that my normal content was not affected in any way as well Like people were also making the argument. Well, hey, you spent time on those videos that could have been gone for other videos No, that was my free time. I, I don't spend 24 hours a day making YouTube videos I, I spend six to eight hours and then every time after that I'm either Wasting my life on overwatch or I'm doing side projects and that was effectively a side project that didn't like it was either make those videos or play Overwatch. That you, There was zero content lost, and if you didn't click on those videos, you still had two other Pokemon videos that day. Or five in the case of Fan Fridays, or like four in the case of the news or whatever. So there was no loss whatsoever, which is why I don't understand how people could say those comments. And I'm getting like, I'm still getting these comments, which is why it's something I wanted to address, because I don't understand. Wow, Togekiss with a one hit point survival. Oh man, Togekiss is going to completely save this battle. Togekiss, Barbarical, you guys are the sweep gods right now. And that's pretty awesome. I wonder how the last Pokemon's gonna go. If it has priority, that would suck. But if I can, like, air slash down his last Pokemon. Oh. The switch. Into Mewtwo. Ah, uh, this is weird. Because I don't remember. Like, I keep bringing Togekiss. I keep talking about the speed tiers in which Togekiss wins out. But Togekiss isn't meant to go up against Mewtwo. So I think I'm just going to get outsped and die right here. So I don't remember if it's 130 base speed or 135 base speed that this scarf handles. Um, it's Mewtwo Y, so he's definitely outspeeding me next turn. If he's not outspeeding me anyways. We'll see. So it's Mewtwo Y versus the Metacham. Yeah, so, okay, so I don't outspeed 130. I, I feel like, yeah, this the range is like 124 base speed or something like that. So Togekiss goes down. And it's just Metacham versus some super fasties. And I don't know if it's going to work out like that. Do I have the hit point investment? I don't know. But that's really all I wanted to address. Like, the rest of this video, it doesn't really... I'm going to talk about normal things. But I just don't understand those comments. It hurts my head trying to figure it out. I think I'm going to Ice Punch for, like, just straightforward goodness against the Mewtwo. So I was just thinking about it. It's like, I did the same videos. There's tons of videos. The drama never took over my channel at any point people just like saying that and then they dislike it over that so i mean most of the dislikes are either people agreeing with lies or may are just not having any common sense and those things upset me so there's the side strike that's going to be a lot of damage but it's not enough to knock out the meta champ so ice punch is going to come through problem is he preserved the noivern which ended up being a really good call on his part i bullet punch isn't going to knock out noivern from that range and Noivern KOs me regardless. So, I mean, I guess the only thing we can do is just throw out the bullet punch and hope, like, a crit happens or something. So, Medcham, bullet punch. Um. Oh, it was so close. It was so close. Just slightly more damage. Damage rolls either way, and we might have had it. But there we go. Noivern finishing off. Oh, life orb. But he still wins. Even with the life orb, that's, like, how it... Man... There were just, yeah, like, the slightest damage rolls or something could have actually changed the battle. And there we go. So, um, some people also might say that the 
Pokemon company, like the cheating video is drama, but that's honestly regular content. If you guys have been around my channel for long enough, you know, like Smogon videos, um, anti-cheating videos, those are legitimately regular content. So yeah, my channel is not gotten taken over by drama. I still did battles, I did guides, I don't understand what those are going for. However, let's just move on to the next battle and everything will be great. Alright, this is bad. Age of Slash is my last Pokemon. Um King Shield. Just straight King Shield. Let's, let's reduce a lot of that damage immediately. Yeah, bullet punch. Why are you bullet punching my Aegislash? Slash? I can do this. That's Swords Dance. And then, um, I'm very confused as to what he's going for. So he doesn't have Meteor Bash, I'm guessing? Like he has Zen Headbutt that he used on me. He has Bullet Punch, and then he has Zen Headbutt. Wait, I don't even know his other moves then. No, he has Meteor Mash. He hit me with it last turn then. I have no idea what he's going for then. There's the Meteor Mash. I, I mean, I guess it would be actually super safe to just keep using the King's Shield every other turn then. He got his attack boost, so maybe he's feeling confident. I am going to keep setting up right now, though. I didn't expect... I thought this was going to be an absolute disaster. Then I realized Aegislash can come in, and then we're good to go. So what happened was I brought in Barbarical. Barbarical got stomped because it doesn't have the Focus Sash, but that'll happen. Uh, Metacham just did not win out against the Metagross since Metagross is faster. And it looks like I'm going to be able to get plus a lot off of this. And he's in Headbutt, so he's at minus three right now. That did much more than it should have. Yeah, critical hit. Oh, the critical hit's going to ignore the minus three. That's so dumb. I didn't need that. I need it, like... If I lose off of that little extra damage, it's gonna be unfortunate. But I have Shadow Sneak. Oh, free! Free! What is he doing? That's Garchomp. And that's so free! I'm gonna keep saying free like that! Because, okay. Might have Rocky Helmet, might have the um, other stuff. But see, that's that doesn't matter because I was already at plus six. Garchomp just gets wrecked right there. Um, No rough skin. Which is kind of weird. But he took out the rest of my team, so he's at least borderline competent. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is the Age Slash Leap, because I'm just going to keep shadow sneaking everything. I don't... Uh, what? Ed... What? Okay. Apparently, I have to go into King's Shield form now, because that Gardevoir is running Bright Powder, and the 10% chance almost screwed me over. I'm sorry, what? What? I was, I could have taken less damage and been at less of a threat to, uh, okay, sure. Um, wait, why did I do that? Never mind. It, it would have been no different. Are we gonna watch the double miss? Cause I was thinking like, I need to be in King Shield for when Aegis Slash was going up against Metagross, but I realized cause I'm Shadow Sneak, I'm gonna be in Blade form anyways. Uh, whatever, King Shield, Shadow Sneak, and Aegislash sweeps again. That that was really weird though. See, the Bright Powder is very good and unsuspecting. Like, we can we win, but it almost screwed me over. Like, there was a lot of things that could have gone wrong after that. Um the one thing I wanted to talk about though, with all the battles and stuff going on before things got really weird. Wow. I think we win though. Okay, that was, that's a weird little battle right here. I was not expecting that. The things that happen on Battle Spot, just all over the place. But yeah, I want to talk about how awesome bathrobes are. Because bathrobes are like my life now. That I bought a bathrobe, I was thinking, you know what? I've earned this. I've never owned a bathrobe in my life. I think, maybe? I think we, me and my brother had like a teal bathrobe and a blue bathrobe. But what were those towels? Or were those like. Not quite bathrobes, they were like kids' bathrobes, so they were okay. But I was also a kid, so I couldn't appreciate the finer things in life back then. But you might have noticed, like, in all of my videos, whenever I have the face cam. Right now, I don't have a face cam, so I'm trying to, like, get my hair right where I want it. Also, like I said earlier, this, vid this video is kind of rushed in a way that I just want to get something out for today. So that way, I at least get my one Pokemon video. Since I was expecting news, and we didn't get it, and then I slept in, and I've been playing too much Overwatch... And now I'm just like chilling in a bathroom every day, all day, just talking Pokemon. So I will dye my hair red again once it grows out just a little more. That way I don't feel like I waste the dye. Because I dye it too early, then it, my hair grows out really fast. And then 
it doesn't look like I dyed my hair. It just looks kind of bad after that point. Bathrobes are cool. Let's do another Pokemon battle, and we'll see where it wraps up. So I don't, I don't want to show the beginning of that one because it just did not work out pretty well. Like my commentary was back, so it's like I'm gonna use Barbaracle. Ah, eh, crap! Leftovers or not leftovers? Lumberry over Focus Sash. No white herb. You know the complaints I've been having this entire time. I just want Barbaracle one time to be saved by that Lumberry. Just one time. It leads like something, and then. It doesn't matter. I want to say it leads Rotom, but Rotom will o me anyways, and it doesn't matter. I just want a dumb status that I go and run over. Like, would Mega Sableye work? So I... No, I don't think, because if he doesn't Mega, then it doesn't matter. Ooh, Eevees. Cool. I think Barbarical can do this one. Um, then we'll go Togekiss, and then we'll go Aegislash. That way, Chansey doesn't destroy us, because Chansey's annoying. And at least with Aegislash, like, Toxic Stall is very... Very not as easy to pull off. So let's see. I'm trying to think about my checklist. You know, bathrobes, pretty cool. Already plugged G Fuel, just in case. And painting. Ah, yes, my paintings. I haven't stopped painting. I've just been too busy for it. Like, way too busy with all the Pokemon videos and all the news and all the Overwatch going on. So I, I did put the... Uh, gesso over the other painting so it's black on the ha on the bottom half but my awesome clouds are still there so I still have my happy little clouds and I just don't know what to do with the scene I actually downloaded like four pictures of landmarks that have like a lake in them I'm trying to do some kind of mix between like you know nighttime lake mountains in the side maybe not mountains maybe not as much of a lake maybe more of a river I don't know what to do with it I like the clouds so much I don't want to screw up that painting so that's really where we're on the painting. And there's Arcanin. Alright, Arcanin, let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy, this This is already a fantastic start. We'll see where it goes. And now I'm just gonna go Shell Smash. Oh, the Intimidate. Hmm. Intimidate is not fun. But at plus one. Okay, he will with me. He will with me, guys. It worked. Lumberry gets justified right here, right now. Ha <laughs> ha. Who's crazy? Who's the crazy one for running the Lumberry over the Focus Sash? Who would have seen it coming? I did. It might have cost me three battles earlier today, but we can finally win off the Lumberry. And the Razor Shell should still be enough, even at plus one, right? Right? Now I'm desperate. Like, that's super effective. Tough Claws, plus one. Like, that has to knock it out. It doesn't matter how tanky Arcanine is. It's gonna go down. Rocky Helmet? Oh, yeah. So even at max tank, Will-O-Wisp, Arcanine, we still got this. Now, my defenses are super low. And what I was about to say is, man, if I had the White Herb, that would ignore the uh, Intimidate. But nah. I'm, I'm happy now. Where's this battle gonna go? Um, who's that? That is Leafeon. Shiny as well. Ah, uh, Grass-type Pokemon aren't fun to me because, like, I, I get the Rock Slide, but at plus two, I'd be a lot more comfortable than this plus one. Um, how much damage is it? Yeah, it's... Ooh, even a plus two wouldn't have been enough. Oh, it's so tanky! It's even got a Citrus Berry on top of all that tank. That's not good. And he's gonna Leaf Blade me, and I get wrecked! That's okay. I know that Leafeon doesn't do anything to the Aegislash, so we'll just have Aegislash save me again. Uh, unless we go into Togekiss. Togekiss is free. Except maybe not with how tanky it is. How much would it, will an Air Slash do? Alright, Air Slash. Go! Go! Oh, he's withdrawing. Okay. Um, I don't think he had anything that could really tank. And then he goes into Sylveon. Yeah, all shinies, hack team. Gosh dang it. Air Slash. Um, Air Slash is decent, but like I do need some flinches right here, honestly. Um, Aegis Slash still does pretty well. I would ha I, I think. Especially if he's already kind of low. Unless he's going for like wish spam. Oh, he went for the Calm Mind. Okay. If we get a flinch here though, I, I win. Like, the Calm Mind set up against the Aegislash would be pretty bad, unless Aegislash can come in and just, like, quick Shadow Sneak, but 
Shadow Sneak isn't going to be a lot of damage, especially if he's Calm Mind. He's probably like max hit point, max defense. However, if we get the flinch here, we're on odds because that's 60% chance. So he could have flinched then, but now he flinches now. As long as I stop this, because he's going for that wish. And I need to make sure the wish doesn't happen unless he withdraws, because he's going to lose it anyways? Okay, I don't understand the, the withdraw. You're, you're going back into the lose condition. Because now... If I don't one-shot you, you would have had a chance to survive, but I do one-shot him anyways. Okay, so just a full defense tank. Had to have been. And then now we go into this, and he loses his Calm Mind, so I outspeed and win. Alright, that, that works out. I think we can get another battle, because these battles have gone so fast. It's funny what happens when I don't bring the Dusclops. I don't know, I think my life is actually pretty boring. Like, yep, match is forfeited. Pokemon Go has been interesting. Like I've, I've been, I have a lot of things. I actually think I'm going to do another Pokemon Go video, just on my thoughts because every day I wake up and I'm like, wow, Pokemon Go is doing better than yesterday. How is this even possible? And that's been my life. Is like, oh man, I don't have a smartphone. That really sucks. There was a lot of times. I know I had all the opportunity in the world to get a smartphone set up before I even started today, or not today, before Pokemon Go was released. Like I could have gotten it a month ago gotten everything all set up maybe found like a nice uh, way to stream do something like that but it I didn't think Pokemon Go was going to be as amazing as it turned out being but who knew here we go real team Barbarical Sableye he's got Mega Slowbro probably over Mega Sableye so this prankster is going to really still take me out and because of that let's go Snorlax and Togekiss let's bring Snorlax in this battle um, I didn't mean to click on summary but I did uh, yeah, Togekiss should still work. There's a lot of filth on that team, but I can take out a good amount with Togekiss. Mostly Embor. Maybe Star Raptor. Like, Star Raptor is going to be Scarfed out speed me anyway. Um. Going to be able to take out Nidoking. The slow. The Mega Slowbro, most likely. Gonna be hard to deal with, but I might find a way around it. Uh, that's why I have that's why I have Snorlax. Snorlax is for the Sableye and the Slowbro, and maybe the uh, Umbreon because I have immunity, so I get a free turn against that Umbreon every day of the week. It has foul play though, so I have to play that correctly. And he did lead the Sableye, so we are going to see the Will O Wisp. Um, I don't want to bring in Snorlax because there's a really good chance that he's just going to go and taunt my Snorlax. If he's not Mega. If he Megas this turn, like if he goes Will-O-Wisp into Mega, I could be safe. But if he doesn't, then it doesn't matter. <gasps> he went Mega! Oh, snap! Okay, we're good. Lumberry might work back-to-back. Because -back. I'm thinking, like, against the Barbarical, you don't really have a reason to Mega. But sometimes you just do it for the safety. And Barbarical gets burned. There's my Lumberry. There's my Shell Smash. Now... Sableye has can be a mad defensive tank. I'm wondering if I can two shot him. Like if I go for the razor shell and then I go for the razor shell again, even after the Will O Wisp, it should be enough to KO. So let's do that. I mean that's that's gotta be heartbreaking right there. Um Razor Shell, that's a lot of damage. And I do get the defense drop. I didn't need the defense drop. Will-O-Wisp is going to land. I was about to say, I would have preferred Will-O-Wisp missing over that defense drop. But it means I get to take out his Mega Pokemon. And Barbarical still gets a turn. Like, he's at neutral damage right now after, like, the Shell Smash into all that. So it's not the worst thing that could happen. Actually, the worst thing that could happen is Shell Smash missing. missing. After getting that defense drop, or not Shell Smash, Razor Shell miss. After getting the defense drop, probably would have been safer to Earthquake. Half damage, minus Tough Claws, Stab. It's it's a tough call. They really just need to give Barbarical Waterfall, and then my life will be complete. And then Barbarical users everywhere will rejoice. So that's kind of it. Um, What's his Pokemon? Embor! Ooh. If he's Scarfed, I'm still faster. Um, Razor Shell's the way to go. I'm still thinking, even after the burn, I might not KO him, but I'm going to do a lot of damage. And then he wild charge, and then he's just going to KO himself to the recoil? Okay. So apparently that's a neutral KO regardless. Okay, it makes sense. Embor isn't super tanky, a super effective stab water boosted hit. Man, I forget about Barbarical's power. He's so good. And Nido King. Wow. 
Really? Earth power. Oh, he's outspeeding me. He's Scarf? Huh. That means the Embor wasn't Scarf. Why would you not Scarf the Embor? How is this Scarf Nido King faster than me? Whatever. Togekiss. Do, do the Lord's work right now, Togekiss, as we go and wrap up today's battles. I think that works out pretty well. Um, those went by pretty fast. So yeah, it's, yeah, the Dusclops makes a lot of difference. I didn't really talk about as many things I wanted to talk about because I, I realized halfway through that, like, I don't have anything to talk about. I'm getting sushi today. Uh, it's been, I'm, wow, wow, he's so much faster than me. Oh, wait, he's scarfed! He's stuck on the Earth Power, so Togekiss wins anyways. Ah, oh, unfortunate, unlucky. That's what you get for using uh, that against it. I'm getting sushi today. So, oh, okay, I can talk about that. I can talk about... I'll do one more battle. Just make it a long battle day. Sure, why not? Um, I can talk about the bad, the downsides of not getting sushi. Or not, not getting sushi. Sushi's on the mind, guys. Sushi is on the mind right now. Is that I can't go... Well, actually, they changed the name. I don't even remember what it's called. They changed it from Benihana in downtown Seattle. And that's where I go and get my sushi all the time. But I used to live on Capitol Hill. And Capitol Hill was walk down, get sushi every Monday when they have happy hour. And it's like the cheapest sushi in Seattle. And it's the best sushi you can get in Seattle as well. For like no money. It's amazing what you can do. But ever since I moved out to Everett, I haven't been there. I feel so bad because the sushi chef there is my buddy. And I haven't been able to say hi or visit him at all. So the second I'm done with these recordings, second the video is uploaded, I'm heading down to Seattle and I'm going to get sushi for the first time in months. I live off sushi, guys. Like, if you guys follow my Twitter every day, I, I get to sushi twice a week sometimes. Twice a week. Um, yeah, Togekiss and Aegislash? I don't trust the Aegislash, but I don't trust anyone. Um, Snorlax. Nah, Snorlax loses out. This is just bad for the rest of my team. This is just really bad. We'll match a Medicham's pretty safe. So it's all on Barbarical, really. It's all on Barbarical, which is kind of scary to think about. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, sushi. Um, I've had sushi out here in Everett, and Everett has crap sushi. Like, I cannot find a good, a decent sushi place. Now, I know that there's, like, the Tokyo Sushi on Mall Way. I haven't been there yet, so I don't know about that. I don't know if that's crap or not, but the rest of it certainly is. Like, I went to Katana Sushi, and that's some of the worst, most overpriced sushi I have ever had in my entire life. Like, the fish was bland, the sushi rice was bland, and there was nothing to it whatsoever. I'm going to shell smash, though. I'm going to see what this guy goes for. And he went for the grass knot. No! The one, what is the odds of the grass knot? Honestly. Oh, I'm going to lose this battle. All right. Going out at a loss because I had to get cocky and talk about sushi. We were having such a good day. Hmm. All right, Togekiss. You can win it. Yeah. As I go and look up the Pokemon Global Link. Pokemon GL. And Oras League. Like, what are the odds of grass not on him, really? Um, Air Slash. So, I mean, at least I get to wreck this dude. Tokus with the Air Slash. Get the outspeed. Get the dunk. Still just enough to KO right there. I didn't even have to worry about anything else. So, let's go single... And we will go and we will look up the Greninja. He sends out the Groudon. And this is why I won Bar Barbarical in a way. If Barbar- Ah, oh, of course he's hacking. Yeah, we, that's 100% cheating. Because you can't get a Shiny unless you go all the way back to Ruby and Sapphire. And that just doesn't happen. Um, I was looking up Greninja. So hit G, Greninja. And it's going to be tough. I need like two flinches in a row. We can do it. If we do it, that would be legendary. I think I can survive something from him. Okay, we don't need two hits. Ground flinches. Wow. All right, we just need the one hit. Oh my goodness, Togekiss saved me. <laughs> I think Togekiss can save me right now. And depending on his last Pokemon, it should be doable from the Metacham plus Togekiss. Wow, I was not expecting that. Even though, like, I thought Groudon was bulky, but not that bulky. Like, I guess he's not that bulky if you just go full offense. So that's like Jolly and stuff. All right, there's his um, there's his there's his win condition. I don't think he can one shot me though. So Togekiss just wins, right? Oh, you go for Mega Blaziken. Can respect that. I can respect that. Even then, he doesn't take if he doesn't KO the Metacham. I should still be okay. He has to protect though. So 
Now he's faster than me, I believe. Yeah, he's definitely faster after the Mega. So I'm just going throughout the Air Slash and hope. Like, Togekiss is a magical Pokemon. It survives everything at least once, which is why the Air Slash works so well on it. That you're going to have the opportunity to do really well. Okay, Grass Knot is actually the fourth used move. Wow, when did Grass Knot climb? Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, Low Kick, Grass Knot. Those are the four most common. Oh. That's not okay. The critical hit didn't matter. Yo, the crit. Oh, man. Alright, Metacham. Zen Headbutt. Like, I thought I should have had that. Mega... Zen Headbutt against the Blaziken. Blaziken's got that momentum on his side, but we'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, Scald, Shadow Sneak, uh, Hydro Pump. Hmm. Flare Blitz. Okay. Bring the Flare Blitz. Does Metacham have enough man in it to survive? Oh, uh, yes! Oh, my goodness! I can't believe I survived! I thought that this wouldn't happen. Wow, okay, the crit did not matter, for sure, because Medcham just has that much damage. So here's the thing, guys. I run, like, hit point EVs on my Medicham. For moments like that, in the magic, like, I know I I know I went out against the regular Blaziken, but when I saw the Mega, I got a little more scared. And I survived it. Wow, um, no, I will not continue battling. I actually want to go and bring up this Metacham EV spread really quick. Yeah, he has a lot of hit point investment. Oh my goodness, that was way more than I thought I'd put into it. I thought I gave him some more speed, but, um, why does he have special attack? Wait, did I accidentally invest some special attack in him, or is that just how it looks because of the way this thing is scaled? I'm actually really confused, because I, I, I did this back in X and Y. And I think I've adjusted it once or twice. Hold on. <laughs> now the, the plot thickens when it comes to this uh, Metacham. Do I have one of those berries that reduces uh, special attack? Because if special attack goes down, that means my Metacham has been accidentally um, unoptimized this entire time. All right, Hondu Berry, lower special attack. It adores me. Oh my goodness. Why does it have special attack? Now it won't have an effect. But apparently like 10 EVs of special attack snuck in there. So that means I couldn't put the rest in the speed wow um i don't know what to say anymore hit point ups would work i don't i'm not expecting out speed as much with the meta cham anyways but i think just in case like those speed m might come through except i don't have speed oh wait carbos um yeah i'll use it on med cham so the idea was mega meta cham gains a lot of stats when it mega evolves and Med mega meta cham is going to be mostly used as just a wall breaker anyways I don't want to, I don't want to like worry about speed ties with 100 base speed Pokemon. And then we start getting that point, everything under that is either scarfed and outspeeding me anyways, or a lot bulkier. So I just need to catch like the right speed tier. And I think we're good now. So I might have to run some more stuff, but I think that's it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching. We got a lot of fun battles in. Pretty cool.